Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one more topic in uh, DBMS. So that is the differentiation between DBMS and RDBMS. So we know that uh, a DBMS means a database management system. Whereas uh, RDBMS is relational database management system. Relational database management system, right? So once we call it as a relational, that means here the data will be stored in terms of a tabular format. And here data is stored as a file systems file system so usually in our hard disk the data will be stored in some files and those files will be stored in directories so that means it's a file system and coming to this rdbms the data was stored in tabular format tabular form right that means in terms of rows and columns so coming to the Third difference, so in order to access the data in DBMS, so it is stored in the file system, so we need, we require some navigational format or a hierarchical format to represent the data or to access the data. So here, the data is represented in a hierarchical fashion, hierarchical form or navigation form navigation form in order to access the data right and coming to here the data is represented in tables so we are stored in the tabular format so the data will be stored in the form of tables so we can easily access the data from the tables than this uh, hierarchical or a navigational form and the next one as here there will be no relationship between one file with the another okay there is no relationship between data. No relationship between one data with the another data because here it is stored in the file system. And coming to the RDBMS, here the data is stored in the tables. So here the relationship, relationship between data is also represented in tables also represented in tables right then dbms doesn't support the normalization so we can't apply the normalization techniques for the dbms so no normalization forms So here the normalization means if the data is considered with a large and a complex data or a complex tables, so we can divide that large and complex tables into a simple tables and also we can remove the redundancy that means a duplicates right and we can optimize the tables right. So that is called as a normalization and that doesn't support in this DBMS but coming to the RDBMS the normalization can be applied. So we can apply normalization, apply normalization. We can apply the normalization. And the next one, this doesn't support the distributed databases. DBMS doesn't support the distributed databases. distributed database so actually here the database is represented as a db okay so distributed databases and here the rdbms 
supports the distributed databases. supports the distributed databases and the DBMS can handle a small amount of data. So the, it can handle small data, but our DBMS can handle large amount of data, large amount of Data. So, a complex data can also be handled in RDBMS with the help of this normalization techniques, right? Then, it supports a single user, only a single user. So, at a time, one user can access the data, right? So, single user. But here, in RDBMS, it supports multiple users. At a time, multiple users can access the data and they can do the man manipulations. So supports multiple users and the last one example example for the DBMS is normal file system normal file system XML etc so these are all the file systems and coming to the RDBMS the examples for this RDBMS is Oracle, SQL, MySQL, SQL Server, etc. So the modern database management tools will be based upon this RDBMS. RDBMS means Relational Database Management System. So these are the major differences between the DBMS over the RDBMS. Hope you understood uh, the differences between the DBMS and RDBMS. So if you are having any doubts regarding this one, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.